everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. If you're eventually watching this on YouTube, I encourage you to join our Patreon community where you also get to be a part of choosing the exclusive films and shows that I watch for you. Today we're going to be watching A Knight's Tale. I don't know what this is about. As you guys know, if you guys have been on my channel for a while, I don't watch trailers. Um, I haven't seen anything of it, haven't heard of it either. I also feel like a lot of the picks that have been chosen, um, I don't ha I don't feel like I've heard of a lot of them, but this is one of them. So I have no idea what I'm what I'm going into, and I'm trying to remember if anyone has told me if it has if I'm gonna cry or anything. I feel like you guys choose a lot of films that you know are very sentimental and emotional. So I don't know. I don't know this one. If you join our Patreon community, you'll also uh, get access to all of my reactions, early access to my reactions, um, as well as Discord access where we have movie nights together. And then if you guys ever just want to come chat about the films or shows that we're watching, um, I also stream on Twitch and all of those links will be down below for you guys. And besides that, I don't really have much to say because of the fact that I don't really know this movie, haven't heard about it. So I guess we're just going to kind of dive into it so let's um let's do that oh we're going into a uh, going into the medieval times <laughs> should we help him we have to be in the list in two minutes two minutes or forfeit lend us those there's a lot of movies that you guys like that um <clears throat> he's in sir Axel must report at once or forfeit the match Oh, he's, he's on his way. They're gonna replace him. She. I'll ride in his place. You have to be of noble birth to compete. Any detail? The landscape is food. Do you want to eat or don't you? If the nobles find out who you are, they'll be the devil to pay. And pray that they don't. That's fucking awesome. <clears throat> I kind of like the jousting stuff because it reminds me, you know, now that we're watching Game of Thrones of the jousting and that. Heath Ledger. I was trying to fit. I was trying to think of his name. Do you guys remember that uh, commercial with uh, I think it's like Shakira, Beyonce, and Pink? I think. Yeah, he's kind of. There you go. Sir <laughs> Ecto. Guts I have. And technique? I have a month to learn that. Besides, the sword. Name a man better with the sword than I. If you can take your coins, go to England, eat cake. But if you can't, you come with me. You see, money doesn't matter. Yeah! <laughs> you see how hungry I am? Thirteen silver pieces. Three men can change their stars. Hmm. God love you, William. <laughs> I know, I know. No one else will. <laughs> the music in this is absolutely <laughs> awesome. All it takes is a man and a dream. Oh, well, you're off the tournament, are you? This is the road to Rowan, isn't it? Well, you know, that really remains to be seen. See, they're limiting the field at Rowan. Noble birth must be established for four generations on either side of the family. Patents of nobility must be provided. <laughs> Clothe me, shoe me, for God's sake, feed me. Let me ride that horse a bit and you'll have your patents. Patents of nobility. We need him. Hmm. I will make all the pain. Lots of pain. We'll first meet Roger Lord Mortimer. Thank you very much. I'm like, I don't. 
I'm just nervous that there's some gonna like somehow find out. Twas there I met a pretty lass. She said her name was Nell. What movie is she? She's in something else. Bell or hell rhymes with now. I did not think at all that there was gonna be a uh, some kind of love interest for some reason. I just didn't. I, I don't know. I didn't think there would be. Tell me your name, woman. And what would you do with my name, Sir Hunter? Call me a fox, for that is all I am to you. A fox? Oh, then a fox you shall be until I find your name. My foxy lady. Oh. <laughs> He's a handsome hunter, I give him that. <laughs> Does this not shock you, ladies? I, I just, I only laugh just to keep from weeping. Why, God, did you curse me with this face? God's will has a purpose, but we may not know it. <laughs> that is lovely. Tread all in Someone's bound to get suspicious and look into all that. Lord Mortimer, one lance to none. Ulrich von Lichtenstein? Yes. I'm Simon the Summoner. I must detain you on behalf of your herald. You were never robbed, were you? Look, I have a gambling problem. Oh, shit. And these people, they'll <laughs> quite literally take the clothes off your back. What do you expect us to do about it? He assured us that you, his liege, would pay us. Oh my god, he got him all in that? How much does he owe you? Ten gold florins. You lanky kids! Ah! Oh, hey! 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 What? We, on behalf of the Lord God, will take it from his flesh. So that he may understand that gambling is a sin. Oh, come on. Please, Will. Fuck. Sorry. Please, will you help me, Sir Ulrich? Oh. I promise you won't regret it. I don't have the money. Release him. For God's sake, give him back his clothes. And you'll get it. Done. You better run or something. Uh, uh. Okay. I don't know how many strikes. Oh. I'm assuming it's three, right? I'm not sure. <clears throat> oh, okay. By, blown far from his homeland in search of glory and honor, we walk in the garden of his turbulence. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> we should have saved our last penny for the blacksmith. Now I can't pay you now, but I promise you I will. Just as long no! as no I... money. Hmm. Excuse me. Each drop of this sweat has a price on it. Just as well. They told me I was daft for even asking. Who? Oh, the other armourers. <laughs> Did they say I couldn't do it because I'm a woman? No, they said you were great with horseshoes, but shite with armour. The fact that you're a woman wasn't even mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> Your name, lady. I still need to hear it. Sir Hunter, you persist. Or perhaps angels have no names. Only beautiful faces. How stylish of you to joust in an antique. You'll start a new fashion if you win. My grandfather will be able to wear his in public again. Some of these poor country knights. A little better than peasants. I wonder if she'll do anything because of that. My lords! My ladies! 
<laughs> I'm sorry, he's like so... I don't... Else extra, I don't know. Sitting on a cushion? I love the way that, um... Today, he likes his today, you find yourselves equals. He's a good crowd pleaser. Equally blessed, for I have the pride. <laughs> and he did a great job. The privilege, nay, the pleasure. Sired by knights, a knight mm. who can trace his lineage back beyond Charlemagne. I first met him. Oh my God! A mountain near Jerusalem, praying to God, asking his forgiveness for the Saracen blood spilt by his sword. The one, the only. Sir Ulrich von Lichtenstein! <laughs> well, that was different. Well, it's time we celebrated our differences. Just maybe not in public. <laughs> yes, Master Valhurst, I'm well aware <laughs> a good fonging is on the way. So, okay. I'm through. But, um, I've never not finished before. I wish to keep my honor intact. Is he lying? Oh. A draw, and Corval is hurt. Hmm. Why didn't Ulrich finish him? He shows mercy. Then he shows his weakness. That's all mercy is. <sighs> hmm. I thought of Victor William goes to sleep. I can't. Love has given me wings, so I must fly. <laughs> she makes me feel like a poet. Well, you may feel like a poet, but you sound like an idiot. You don't even know a name. A name? So, Ulrich! Christiana. My lady bids you wear this token. Of course. She also said to tell you, her name is Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that like builds my heart. <clears throat> like putting a Concentrate. name to the face. I'm looking at like the difference in armor and just like the helmet itself is completely different. The amount of protection. I can't breathe. He knows. He hits like a hammer, it's amazing. But not perfect. He aims high on your chest. Roll your shoulder back when you strike, his blow may glance to your right. Yeah. <sighs> Is there a way to like cheat? And jousting? Out, out of curiosity. William! William! Someday, I'll be a knight. <gasps> a thatcher's son? A knight? You might as well try to change the stars! <laughs> Can it be done, father? That's what he is saying. Can a man change the stars? He believes enough a man can do anything. That makes my eyes drip because I feel like there's not a lot of parents that say those kinds of things <clears throat> when it is something that seems unimaginable or impossible. Fall you all of your own! you Go and see to Ulrich. Well done, my lord. Noble victory. The next time I face you, Count Edamar, you will look up at me from the flat of your back. Please. You have been weighed 
You have been measured, and you have been found wanting. Leave now. We can walk most of the way and save the horse. No, you have to go to the banquet tonight. You have to dance. You have to make an appearance. Oh, and have Adamar laugh at me again. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. <laughs> My lady would know the color of your lord's tunic tonight. His tunic? Yes, so that she can dress to match him. We won't actually be attending. Hell, do not answer questions you don't know the answer to. Absolutely, my lord. Uh, Squire, answer her. <laughs> what uh, color is my tunic tonight? Uh, oh, green. sh. Green. Trimmed in a kind of pale green uh, with, with uh, wooden toggles. I will tell my lady. I don't know how to dance. And one and two and three and four. And your hands shoot the light like a birdie on the branch. And one, two and three and <laughs> Oh, and you can do better, can you? Of course I can. Good. Why don't you show us then? No. <laughs> no. Please. 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 And one. And two, three, and four, three, four, five, six. You're not going to wear your hair like that, are you? Is there another way? <laughs> I like her laugh. <clears throat> I'm just imagining like where he came from and, every, and all of that. and You know, he's pretending to be this person and he goes in and just sees so, all, right. all that. You look fantastic. People. When God stopped the sun in the sky at Gibeon to give Joshua more time to defeat the Amorites. I don't understand. <laughs> if I could ask God one thing, it would be to stop the moon. Stop the moon and make this night beauty last forever. So what dance will you have? A Caranto or a Bassa dancer? Sir so, Ulrich. Why don't you show us all a dance of your country? Oh, shit. Show us a dance of Gelderland. Uh, well, it, it's a lot like uh, the Farindal, uh, but with some differences. It, uh, well, you should bow. Um. La -da -da. He's, he's gonna find a way to just like find out. I don't know how, but I hope that none of them people that he's with will betray him for maybe like like an immense amount of gold or whatever or coin or silver. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's too small. It's too light. He'll be crushed. Killed. No, I found a new way to heat the steel. Twist, bend, feel the movement. Well, I. Do you at least have the courage to test it? Damn. <laughs> Are you all right? Well, I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> That's crazy. When Culver looks fit, this should be good. My lead. Second son of Sir Wallace Percival. It is my deepest honor. My deepest honor to present. What the hell was that? It's Edward, my lord. They're sure of it. The third Earl of Warwick, I give you. Adam, I withdrew. A draw like that can mean only one thing. Mm. Royalty. I'll see what I can find out. Colville is Edward, the Black Prince of Wales, and future King of England. 
Well, he's in disguise like me, so he can compete. He has never met an enemy without victory. He has never attacked a town. He could not defeat. You must withdraw, Will. Go tell him, Jeff. They're about to drop the flag. Absolutely. Cred. Give me the lot. Give me the lot. Yeah, he's doing it. Woohoo! Oh my giddy aunt. Are you mad? You knowingly endanger a member of the royal family. He knowingly endangers himself. I fought Sir Ulrich, as it was in Rua. And you also, Prince Edward. Hey, you knew me. And still you rode. It's not in me to withdraw. Huh. Nor me. Well, it happens. Yes, it does. Good luck with the tournament. And you also. Here, melt it down, sell it, do whatever you do. Yes, Your Majesty. William, the tournament champion! I'm not champion until I defeat Adamar. Adamar withdrew. Sir Ulrich. Uh. I've come to see what you'll wear to banquet tonight. Nothing. Well, then it will cause a sensation for our dressed match. Well, don't you ever get tired of putting on clothes? Um, I believe she's talking about taking them off, my lord. Flower is only as good as its petals, don't you think? A flower is good for nothing. You're just a silly girl, aren't you? Better a silly girl with a flower than a silly boy with a horse and a stick. Yeah, uh, tournament results, my lord. That's crazy, like, how much anger you must have in order, like, to... Dear Jocelyn. No, my dearest Jocelyn. Because another man is just winning all the tournament. He writes as though I had died. Yes, madam. He dies as well. She used to cook for the Duke of York. I miss her like the sun misses the flower. <laughs> I miss you like the sun misses the flower. Like the sun misses the flower in the depths of winter. Instead of beauty <clears throat> to direct its light to, the heart hardens like the frozen world your absence has banished me to. Why isn't this no longer a thing anymore? I don't remember the last time I've heard about a man like it. writing something I'll like that in depth. Such like poetry and heartfelt yeah. poetry. My husband, God rest him. Told me something I'll never forget. Hope guides me. It is what, what gets, gets me through the day, day and especially the night. It's like reading everybody's <clears throat> And finish it with, with all the love that I possess, William. You mean Ulrich? Oh shh. With all the love that I possess, I remain yours. The night of your heart. Hmm. What? She gave him a horse? What? Tell oh. me, did you see her? <laughs> did you read the letter? Yes, and yes. I thought she gave him one of, like, <clears throat> her other horses. Well, did she give you anything for me in return? Did she, did she give you a letter? Or a token? Did she give me a token? Uh... She did. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean... Um... Well, what is it? What? Mm. Come on, give it to me. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Hell yes! <laughs> yeah! She. <laughs> she's, that means she. Yeah! Yes! 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 <laughs> He's won four tournaments in a row, and, and once again, Adamar is not here. I check shields too. Shh. John Beaumont's here, Count Theobald of Chartres, Philip of Burgundy, all three French champions. An Englishman will not win this French tournament. Shut your mouth! It's a good bet. Win and I can buy my own tavern. I could write full time. And most importantly, because the Pope himself is French. Well, the Pope may be French, but Jesus is English. You're on. <laughs> not with the princess here watching him. Lichtenstein! He's not! He's hands! He comes from Gilderland! He comes from Gilderland! Gilderland! I'm so scared they're gonna, like, 
find something out. At least it's quiet, you know? <laughs> I wish to hear poetry, Ulrich. Oh, well, I'm not ready. Why must everything for a woman be run on a man's schedule? Well, a, a man's day is fuller. And, well, you see, a man, he has more demands on his time. Was that so? And, yes. And when I want it, and I want it now. Your breast. Oh, Lord. Jocelyn, how may I prove my love to you? How? If you would prove your love, right. you should do your worst. My worst. Instead of winning to honor me with your high reputation, oh, I want you to act against your normal character and do badly. Do badly? Lose. No, losing proves nothing, except that I'm a loser. Wrong. And losing would show your obedience to your lover and not to yourself. Really? Woman. Do not sh me and spare him. Now be gone. What is your answer? I will not lose. Then you do not love me. The protector of Italian yeah. virginity. <clears throat> I get why she's doing that. Like I understand. It just sucks because he's not only doing this for himself. So it's it just sucks. It's unfortunate. Losing. I don't understand. Oh, neither do I. <laughs> Jocelyn told me I should lose to prove my love. Oh God, I'd rather you were blind. Don't be foolish, Will. Each woman wants proof. That's all. Proof of what? <laughs> but they lose. They lose absolutely. Everything, right? Like all the, all the coins that they have, they lose the bet. Just like falling in love while he's getting beat up. I'm gonna lose everything. That's why it's called gambling. It's very romantic, though. You a woman or a blacksmith? Sometimes I'm both. I like her. <clears throat> She says that if you love her... Look, I know, I know, I must lose. Is she not watching, huh? She says that if you love her, you will not lose another match. She says that if you love her, you will win this tournament. Oh, God. Just put, put the stakes still in the odds, I don't... What the... So what, if he, there like, is, doesn't win love. one? Your Venus! Oh, and how I hate her. Oh, come on, don't look too sad. Here, have a drink on me. He's quick, he's funny, he makes me loads of money. Let's just sign. Although, <laughs> my father, he taught me to take the bad with the good. Well, this good you speak of, it will be my doing as well. Three years for my eyes. Five. Five long years. William? Twelve. Twelve years. Mm. He's to be an apprentice then. I wonder How long if, for? I don't know if his father is asked if you will be able to see him. Well, step forward, sir. Let me have a look at you. Careful with that, Roland! You afraid of me, boy? Hmm? You got most of your teeth? Show me your arm. You got a strong arm? Well, he's a half starved little scarecrow. But he's got spirit. I can show you a great wide world full of adventure. Can you pack my horse and lead it? Oh, well, come on. Say goodbye to your father. Let's get started. He's a real knight, William. Watch and learn all you can. Oh, my gosh. It's all I can do for you, son. Now go change your stars and live a better life than I have. You did all of that? <clears throat> he 
London. The World Championship. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't she? A real thoroughbred trophy, don't you think? You speak of Jocelyn like she's a target. Isn't she? No. She is the arrow. <laughs> I've entered into negotiations with her father. I'm to make her my bride. Oh, she'll be saddled and placed on my mantle. Target or arrow makes no difference. I will have her. How would you beat him? With a stick while he slept. <laughs> but on a horse, with a lance. That man is unbeatable. I like writing stuff down while I'm watching the movie, so. Just a heads up if you see me scribbling. You're Sarah Rick von Lichtenstein. Yes. You're my favorite knight. When we joust, I always <coughs> say I'm you. What are you doing here in Cheapside? There's no parade today. Can you keep a secret? I was born in Cheapside. Just around the corner there. Truly, Sarah Rick. <laughs> Truly. I only live just there. I wonder if you remember a man. They may have died before you were born. His name was John Thatcher. Well, yeah, he lives there still. Sometimes we see him sitting out the window, but no one knows why. What do you mean? He's blind, sir. Oh, my God. I'm going to cry, aren't I? Who are you? A knight. My name is Ulrich. I hear that name being chanted from the stadium. <laughs> what business have you here? I have word, Master Thatcher. Word of your son. Of oh, my William. Come in, sir. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> he is very well. He wanted you to know that he changed his styles after all. And has he followed his feet? Gracious. He found his way home at last. Yes. Oh, oh William. Oh, my boy. I should like to meet this one and Roland as well. <laughs> you will, Father. <laughs> you will. <laughs> the women. Is there a certain one? Oh, my. Oh, but this leak won't do, Father. Not in the chamber of a Thatcher. <laughs> For a blind Thatcher, it's quite fitting. <laughs> <clears throat> Jolson, this day just gets better and better. Somebody die? Sir Ulrich von Lichtenstein. Ademar followed you last night. Will, they asked me for your patents. They're waiting for you in the lists. They're going to arrest you. But I face Ademar in five minutes' time. Oh, you forfeit. They've already marked it down. Saddle the horses. They can arrest your baggage, not you. And I'm sorry, but I won't see you led away bound for the stocks. Oh, but you will see me run? No! Damn your pride, William. Oh, and you would see me run. And you, Jeff? Yes, I wish it too with all the pieces of my heart. What? You and I, we aren't runners. Yes. William, today we are. Run, William. Is he going to? I don't... No! I will not run! I'm a knight. <laughs> I mean... 
our boys. All good things must come to an end. Let's end them together. <laughs> Shit. You will remove yourself from this position of honor. I am here to compete. You are here to be arrested. What a coward. What a coward. You have been weighed. You have been measured. <laughs> and you have been found wanting. <gasps> In what world could you have ever beaten me? I will fold you! I will rip you! You stay blind! Stick my face up! Thank you! He's one of them, like he 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 lied, but he's What a pair we make. Uh, both trying to hide who we are. <laughs> both unable to do so. Your men love you. If I knew nothing else about you, that would be enough. So tilt. But my personal historians have discovered that he is descendant from an ancient royal line. This is my word. And as such is beyond contestation. If I may repay the kindness you once showed me, take a knee. <sighs> by the power vested in me by my father, King Edward. And by all the witnesses here, I dub thee Sir William. I shall have your opponent informed of it. You look for his shield on the lists. Thank you, my lord. <laughs> but Span Sugar and Boot Black. It's a small target, Will. The name for his heart. Oh, you're lying. <laughs> I know I don't know the ending, but I for once thought we would have a <laughs> a happy ending. And I I don't know if I trust you guys. Oh god. I'll fetch the surgeon, Will. Roland! You're the surgeon now. Turkey, son of a bitch. What a fucking coward. He's such a loser, bro. <laughs> fucking pisses me off. As I said, in what world could you have ever beaten me? Such a place does not exist. She's here, William. And so is your father. <laughs> it's two lances to none. You must unhorse him or kill him. It's the only way to win. Do you need more padding? No. Leave it off. Lance. Oh, no. Oh, I can barely grip it. Lash it to my arm. Holy fuck. It's crazy how... Lash it to my arm. Do as he says. Oh, shh. <laughs> Guys, I can't... I can't do this. But please, please, I pray you, hear it now. Days like these are far too rare to cheapen with 
heavy-handed words. Harriet! One of your own! Born a stone's throw from this very stadium! And here before you now, the son of John Thatcher! So, Thatcher! That's your name, Will. Sir William Thatcher. Your father heard that. Oh man, the like the bond between them and the way that it's grown so far with like all of them is so like, precious. Don't speak with him. Oh man. You have been weighed. You have been measured. And you absolutely have been found wanting. Welcome to the new world. God save you, if it is right that he should do so. I'm gonna have to write some of this story down. The part about the prince in the night? No, no, no. All of it. All human activity lies within the artist's scope. Maybe not yours. <laughs> <coughs> See, I never know. <laughs> I never know when to trust you guys. I don't know when. Oh man, I never know what to expect with the films that you guys give me. What a good ass movie. Um. <clears throat> oh my god, what a great movie. Um. I think like sometimes when I get introduced to <clears throat> things that have to do more about like medieval things or war or things like that, I tend to automatically think that I'll probably won't understand as much or have more trouble of understanding, I guess. So these aren't the type of movies that I would usually incline to watch or be inclined to watch. Um, but I swear the ones that are like this are, are one of the best ones that you guys recommend me. Where do we begin? I don't... I know I, I know. I, I just talked about this towards the end of the movie, but the relationship between all of them is so beautiful to me <laughs> on how they... I don't know, just how, how their friendship just kind of grew throughout the entire film. And when, when the king said, like, these... Like, your men love you, and if that doesn't say... And if there's nothing... I mean, and if there's nothing said about you, then that says most of it. Or, you know, <clears throat> that... What he said... Which is so true, but oh my! I don't know, I just loved hearing him say that, because it's true. And I just love seeing their friendship grow. I love, I love, love, love seeing... Well, I don't want to say I loved seeing it, but it made my heart really warm when they all asked him to run. Because they obviously didn't want to see him go through any of that and get arrested and so on. And he still... <laughs> he still said no. He didn't want to do that, which I love because I think I think one of the main reasons why they love him, you know, is because of that, is because of his uh, his courage and his bravery in the entire film. And just like even in the beginning, the first thing he did was like, um, I believe it was like 15 coins, I believe that 
that they gave them. And he would basically have to give like 90% of their earnings in order to even be put into um, any of the tournaments. But he he did it and he was brave enough to, to put himself in that position. Also knowing that he's putting them in a position. So he's kind of like taking all of that on him. So I think that's also one of the reasons why they love him because of the position that... I guess the position that they're in and the kind of person that he is. So the fact that towards the end when they all told him to run and he still said no. And that being one of the reasons why they love him as well. And how that all came to me is is because of him not backing down. I thought that was... I just thought that was really... (laughs) I was so... I was so scared. Okay, because I know you guys give me films that either I absolutely am devastated on and I cry a lot, or it's a happy ending and I can't don't expect it because I don't know what to expect in some of the films that you guys choose for me. It's either or, I feel. And I was so scared that his opponent, I forgot his name, I, for, I thought he was probably going to kill him. And... And William, I'm trying to think of what I thought was going to happen, but it was in the moment of right before their last strike, I guess, or their last um, go, where they were uh, jousting. I thought that he was going to kill Will, but Will went through all of this, and basically, like, we all know that he acted like he has a knight's heart. Like, the bravery and all of the things that he chose led him to be the person that he is and and what his father knew. Oh, and also his father, uh, the little scene of him dropping him off, knowing that he could change his fate, you know? And and the thing that they talk about with changing the stars, which is also really cool because when, towards the end when he was kissing uh, Jocelyn, uh, the very last scene is them kissing and then it's the stars behind them. It kind of switches to the stars. So I think a lot of emphasis on that, of what his father told him and what he kept on saying. I thought that was really beautiful. And the meeting up with his father was the same thing. Oh my. That, I think that out of the entire film was the most heartwarming scene for me. uh, Because there was a couple of scenes that were really, like really struck a chord in my heart, you know? But I think one of the... The biggest ones that I, f- I feel. Because logic, when I jump, sorry, my brain is jumping, but logically I think of other scenes that could probably have more emphasis. But I think, like, feelings wise, the most that struck me was when, <laughs> when he came to, um, when he went to go see his father and he had changed, he had changed his fate. Like, he changed exactly what his father knew he could. Um, and I know that I also had said, I think the, I think it was one of the first times that I started tearing up watching the movie, but it was when Will was young and he was saying that he was to become a knight and, um, his father said that basically it's possible as long as the, I guess like the willingness or the, like, basically it's possible to do so. I forgot the exact line that he said. But I feel like I don't hear that enough nowadays, especially when it comes to like a parent saying things that or things that they believe is impossible is possible. Um, I was about to start to <laughs> I was about to give you guys an example and stuff about my life, but I'm trying to bring my thoughts together on that. Right. So the father himself telling him, even as a young boy, that it is possible, and you know, waiting all those years, and he comes home and. The emotion that he portrayed in his character, knowing that his son was alive and that he was there and that he changed, he changed the stars, he changed his fate. That was so heartwarming. That that was the most emotional scene for me. I don't know if it's because I feel like I c- not connect to it, but that whole emphasis on, you know, the parents believing something that is impossible is possible and things like that and the reason i think the reason why i was so emotional about it is because when my parents came to this country they were immigrants and they had to do 
everything possible to make sure that me and my brother were taken care of and that, you know, we had food on the table, roof over our head and things like that. So I think when I saw that scene, um, I kind of put my brain or I put my mind or I think about like my parents in mind, basically, and how much they went through and how much like how fearful it is to even be in a position like that and then thinking you know that things seem impossible but the courage that it took for them to do that and then i put will and then seeing that the father said that and knowing that his son after all those years was was doing it you know so it was just really heartwarming for me and besides that this was an absolute great movie i loved it um i'm trying to think if there's anything i can i can think of in the moment but <laughs> i think that's i think that's good so far if you guys have any questions as you guys know always comment them i'll <clears throat> make sure to always answer them on patreon specifically and as well as youtube so <sighs> i'm trying to think if there's anything else but um yeah just just let me know, just in case. Um. Okay, I think that's all I got. But thanks, guys, for watching. And thank you for the recommendation. Thank you for the for the chosen movie. But um, make sure you guys eat. Make sure you guys rest. And make sure you stay hydrated. I'll see you guys for the next movie, which I believe is Sic Sicario, maybe? Oh, maybe. I don't know if that's how you say it, but Sicario, I think, as well as one of the episodes for Clone Wars that I have to finish up, uh, but that will be done as well. <clears throat> and then we have Sicario, your next movie that was chosen is that. I don't know what that's about, so I guess we're just going to go into it after. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys for the next one.